Back in 1862, Governor George Grey purchased Cowell Island and set about developing it into his very own exotic island home. He was a keen collector and planted hundreds of plant species and introduced native and exotic wildlife including weka, wallaby, zebras and even monkeys. Not all of his collection remains on Kawa Island today, but his legacy lives on. George Grey purchased Kawa Island in uh, 1862. He bought the island as a retreat, essentially to get away from the political sphere. He was an avid collector of plants and animals and he used the island as a, a climatisation experiment. So he was bringing in all sorts of different exotic plants and animals to trial them in New Zealand climate before they were released in the wider landscape and to try and gauge the economic um, significance and, and how well they do. So it was a bit like a living lab out here then? Yeah, yeah, it was um, a sort of a, a sort of a mini Eden. He was recreating the British garden landscape so he brought in a lot of plants that were familiar to him and he was trading from all around the world. It was a special thing to do in, in the 1850s and 60s. The rare types of plants and the newly discovered plants would endow someone with a certain status as a collector. He established the weka population on Carwell, which is now one of the largest populations of North Island weka. Are the monkeys still here? No, the monkeys were removed when they started damaging Mansion House. Zebras are also another one that didn't take off here. One of the zebras broke its back and, and the other one died shortly afterwards. He incorporated a lot of the old mining elements and Maori elements into his concept of the landscape. Rather than get rid of the old industrial structures like the, um, the Cornish pump house, he actually saw that as an asset, as, as something like a, a landscape feature to show to visitors. They were mining for copper from the 1840s to the mid-1850s. Um, so what you can see behind us is one of the mine adits. You can see the copper ore residue staining blue on the mine shaft there. So copper was quite a valuable commodity around this time for the Industrial Revolution. The miners came mostly from Cornwall. A lot of people from Cornwall were attracted by relatively higher wages and uh, better working conditions, but when they arrived here they found that uh, relative to the local workers that they weren't necessarily that much better off. In order to access the copper, they had to sink shafts down below the high water mark and they needed some way of, of dewatering the mine, so they erected these pump houses. Island is no longer home to the zebras or monkeys, but it's still home to many of the things that Governor Gray introduced over a hundred years ago. So in a lot of ways, his dream of a beautiful island home lives on.